This week, many of us are reflecting on the good and the bad times and looking forward to unboxing 12 new months of opportunity. Even in the best of times, you might be leery about making New Year's resolutions. In this week's Hello Idaho, Brenda Rodriguez spoke to a health expert who says making a mental health resolution can pay off in the long run. Ah, the New Year's, a time to reflect on the old year and make room for the new opportunities and adventures the new year may bring. And when you think about New Year's, the first thing that might come to mind are New Year resolutions. So New Year's resolutions are one of those things that it gives us all hope, right? New Year's resolutions are great because they they it's basically us turning the page for the New Year. But being in a pandemic in the last couple of years has made it hard to keep those promises. This New Year's will be a lot different because we do have, we are kind of more or less returning to normal and those, uh, those resolutions that we can have will be more accessible. About 50% of Americans do not hold on to those promises as the year goes on and the word new puts a lot of pressure on starting over. There may be, you know, an increased level of, you know, anxiety or feelings of, you know, being overwhelmed uh, this holiday season. Broken promises year after year have led to some people resort to no resolutions, but that might not be the answer. I would caution against anybody saying, why make a New Year's resolution? What's the point? I'm not going to do it anyways. That sort of defeatist attitude we often see, you know, highly correlated with things like um, uh, helplessness, hopelessness, and, you know, which can, you know, lead to depression, understandably so. And starting small is a big step in the right direction. It's always important to set goals and especially New Year's resolutions that are um, that are realistic uh, and uh, achievable. Not all New Year resolutions revolve around losing weight or money. New Year's resolutions can extend to mental health. But what exactly does that look like? First of all, is slow down. You know, uh, this time of year is, is stressful you know, stressful by nature. Uh, and it is important to kind of reflect on what is that source of stress? Take some time to recharge. Take some time to refill that cup, as we often put. Um, with the hustle and bustle of daily life, we forget to do things that we like to do and uh, do things that help us de-stress. So when creating these New Year resolutions, make sure that they are specific, achievable, relevant, and realistic. At KTVB Channel 7, I'm Brenda Rodriguez. For more ways to help prioritize your mental health entering the new year, visit our website, ktvb.com, and select the Hello Idaho tab.